Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy VI. While I wait for people to show up, I'm going to fight. <laughs> Excuse to get more EXP! Oh, you guys are on us. I was like, oh, there, got it off. Useless or advantage preserved. You get a lot of AP if you didn't notice from last episode. Uh, I don't want these things to die. I'm sucker. I'm tired of uh, having these assets dagger go off, but not really. Because <laughs> the enemies are immune to instant death. Give you phantom. I'm gonna refresh my chat in case people are talking. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. It's usually at least somebody's here by now. Yay, tent! Every character has a different tent, by the way. I have to show that off at some point. Alright, let's go! Oh! Dodged by the cape! Do I have guy gear on? Terror learned imp. He does have guy gear on. Uh, Life shaver takes HP. It does damage to a character, and the enemy gets HP back. If you have Gaia gear, though, because it absorbs earth attacks, Life shaver counts as an earth attack, so it reverses it. The enemy takes damage, and your character gets healed. Uh, it's very interesting. So here you're just going to follow the paths. It's a dragon. The 29, 7,000 HP. We get slapped. Dead. 
They should have gained a little. Okay. Uh, before you touch this orb... We need to do something. Oh, it's a behemoth. Ghostly Veil. This gives everybody the invisibility uh, stats. Back. Celeste did get it right. Yes. Okay. I can't see. Um, just do this for me. <laughs> Use, use Phantom, and give everybody the invis status effect. This will help you a lot. Um, and as you see, the status effect stays. So use it in the battle, and then you can just run from the battle. And then. Oh, you're the murder oh, Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's, uh, one of those is like a mimic, where you you open it up and you open, monster monster box no, and you get attacked. Uh, the murder is a katana. It's pretty good for sign if you brought him along. As you see, we have a well-known Final Fantasy enemy here. It's a behemoth. We against ice. Beat down, which we'll miss because that's a physical attack. As you see, he can counter with beatdown, which is quite a bit of, of damage. But you can see that it kind of kind of makes him a joke. <laughs> if you if you're in this. <laughs> hey Muggler, cure us, stop, protect, he's done with those. This spell's not bad. Him learning all the phantom stuff I would like. And Shadow can go back to learning Cure. Cure and Libra, mostly. Well No, I'll give him a I'll give him gold. And that's the power of the Vanish spell. Just Vanish. Cast it on one target. The cool thing about using Phantom is it casts it on everybody at the same time. Although... See these things teleport to you. It's kind of a weird dungeon. Uh, please do make note that, of course, everything has a downside. The downside of being invisible think I've ever gone over is spells will automatically hit also any spells that you throw out or not that you throw out, but any spells that are that hit you like this will always hit now those are gonna hit anyway And you see, getting hit by a spell gets rid of Invis. Terra Cancel. <clears throat> Your magic evasion doesn't work when you're when you're invisible. 
you just eat the damage. Which can really stink. Or, if it's something like a low hitting insta death spell, guess what? You got hit. So there are downsides to... There are definitely downsides to invisible. But if all the enemy uses is physical attacks, it's an easy win. show you beat down. Look at that. 576. Oh, beat down counters are okay. beat down. Oh, one final one for the road. Thanks, Behemoth. Thanks for being mean. <laughs> hey, Behemoth! Hi, Maze! Uh, I just got done explaining the... Uh, invis... In, invis... Stats effect. I think it's that or... It. I'm gonna go back. Thunder again. Only hit shadow. Let's go. Terra learned float. Celeste gained a level. So she got plus one magic. Is me doing? Yeah. That works for me. Press the switch. Okay, this opens the way back. Let me take it. Level 5 death, which... Yeah, shouldn't hit anybody. So nobody's 30. And everybody's above 25. Child learn stop, cure, and protect. Someone's learn Fira. Yeah, although, Mog's close. <laughs> Point, at which point I start blasting that enemy with spells. So that doesn't happen. What to learn now? Let's learn Azuna and all that. 
All that jazz. There's not much left for Terra to learn. I super care about. Let's learn, learn Libra. Is the golem done. Take Bismarck. You could learn Blizzard to Thunder really fast. This opens this way up. That's the way I win it. Flip that switch already. Great, they're sure. Throw each element. <laughs> Learned gravity. Let's see, gotta get my bearings. Where are we now? Dead. Thunder, Blizzard. There's I want him to have from there for now. Um, sure. Here we go. Now I need a behemoth fight. Who has it now? Mog, Mog knows Phantom. Ghostly Veil! Of course, we saw earlier, but for those that weren't in chat, the Behemoth will counterattack with Beatdown, but Beatdown's a physical move. That's all I've seen it used, so we win. Can't hit us. Beat down. Oh, gained a level. Okay. Monster in the box! See, there's, there's a monster in the box one. This is uh, Gigantos. Gigantos is super mean. He will start the battle with these throat jabs. Throw da throat jab does a ridiculous amount of damage. Throat jab, like it, it, enough damage to kill a party member right now. That kind of damage. You see, he'll he'll attack throat jab and then kill a party member. But party members are dead from that onslaught. I'm just I'm just letting you know he hits that hard. 
I've seen him start a battle and just oh near wipe out my part. However, by using invis, you make him a joke. Don't count on that preempt, because I don't remember getting a preemptive strike. Um, that's why you use Vanish beforehand, like on a Behemoth battle. That way it doesn't get taken away by a spell. And then beat him up. For your trouble, slight trouble if you're prepared, you get the Suzuki blade. <clears throat> blade thought to have belonged to a famous ninja. It's a stronger soccer. I remember it being stronger than that, though. It took a little bit of a hit. Huh. Well, he has it now. Mog learned Vanish and Berserk. Terra gained a level. Now that's dangerous. Terra and Mog are both 30. <laughs> and we've seen level 5 death. Um. Sure. How are we doing, Celeste? Could be better. <laughs> Dragon! Oh. That's. Run away. to vanish. Yep, sure does. Sad. Hi, Binary. Thanks for being here. Level 5 death. Thankfully, that does not work on Sol I hope that kills, because it will work on Terra. Terra learned Leap. And of course, thank you for being here, Maze, as always. Well, shoot, Terra. I don't know what you should have now. Learn Reflect and Haste. Okay, with all that journeying done, use another tent. Black Desert Online. I've heard terrible things about Black Desert Online. I know the Steam reviews were um, negative for at some point. I think they're mixed now. Dragon Revenge Blast, which would do a bunch of damage, but since he hasn't taken taken any damage, it does nothing. Dead. Okay. I need to switch off Unicorn for just a bit. Zona Seeker. Because I want Celeste to get plus two magic. Yeah, yeah, we 
you're gonna cat you know. I killed him. Use the thunder scroll. Shadow and Bazaar. Hey, got two Fuma shurikens. gonna run. Because I believe the level 5 death is a counter attack. Mario Pipe sounds... Let's find out. You cast Thundara. Shadow, you cast Thundara. Or not, because it's just dead. You know, whatever. <clears throat> Shadow knows cure now, yeah. Whee! Ugh, you count as undead. You're lame. Hit Mog with it! Sweet! Celeste gained a level. Yay! Now that she got her two. Her two magic, back to unicorn. You know, this is truly. <clears throat> truly a me let's play right now her stream because I'm going the wrong way after I went the right way the first time which that's about right all the signs in touch which is annoying Terra run run faster Terra Mog learned break. Terra learned reflect. Shadow's done with Shiva. Learn. Take me to learn Aura spells. Why not? Life server, that'll actually hit Shadow though. No? Not everybody's wearing Gaia gear. <laughs> right? Yeah, Celeste doesn't have Gaia gear. She's the only one because I didn't have it. 
I even gave it to, uh, to Terra. Okay, so as long as Celeste doesn't get hit by it, we're fine. I need to switch for that again. Gained a level. Come on, gained a level. Celeste learned to Zuna. Awesome. What's left on uniform? Shell at one. <laughs> dispel at two. I'd like to know dispel. It's about time some characters learn that. Hi, Neko. Um, I chose Earth Blues, by the way, because that is the the land here. It counts for Earth Blues. Uh, I got a few items. Other than that, now I'm just making my way through this place. Sonic Boom! Haste, and the Fuma Shuriken. Carbuckle's done. Hold on to Golem? You've learned just about everything, Jeremy. Good for you. Actually, it's your close to leveling. Zone Seeker! By the way, don't be dumb like me and use Cura outside of battle. Use Cura. It's way cheaper. To deal the party with. Whee! Okay, that's not open. Uh, you can jump down to the... to the ship from here. If you... Are running low on supplies, you're having a hard time. Whatever the case may be. Oh, they didn't die. Okay. Learn show. Should have bought more lightning trolls. Oh man, I don't get anything out of that guy. Lame. So let's learn Dispel. Finishes. Learning from Unicorn. Learn raise. Yeah. 
flip this switch, which lowers that. One last beatdown. Ha! Missed. <laughs> One of our death, Terry gained a level. Thank you, Terra. Start learning poison. Why not? Take this off Celeste for now. Zone Seeker. Actually, no. Terra, you can have Phantom. Because <clears throat> I want, always want Phantom in the... <clears throat> to have to use right now. <clears throat> well, you can start learning as soon as. Okay, now I can go. It's either this way or one below. Switch so we can go right now. <laughs> Should have learned Thundara, Fira, so now he knows those. Good for Shadow. Poison and stuff. So now we can go this way. Which I believe is the way to go. Throw a shuriken, because I've not done that yet. You see, shuriken does a bunch of damage. <clears throat> Fuma shuriken, even more. See, now we're on the other side. After D, you have to go around. I if you'll finish this one really fast for me. <laughs> so let's gain the level. Brigade! Boars! <laughs> it misses because they're floating. Very sad. <laughs> Rock slide. Which does hit. Does a bunch of damage.
boring. Aww. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to see from Mog. I get it, but I don't think it was boring. <laughs> it was boring like you said. <laughs> Sometimes you have to see it to get the joke. Can't explain it on the. You should be here! You should be here watching. Then you can see Maze make funny jokes that I don't think of. Switch. Text humor. You could put the chat in the game window. I've thought about that for a, for a long time. I don't know. I really don't. For for because to be able to read the chat, I'd have to make well for people to be able to read the chat. I'd have to make the game smaller, but I don't think that's what people want to see. People want to see the game. But then I know some people do want to reach it. I don't know. I'm always torn. Torn about it. Yeah, Maze, I never know how to feel about it. There is a beret. Which would be... For somebody... Oh, okay. Uh, this is for a realm. It increases the, su the success rate of sketch. Because yes, sketch can fail. It doesn't make sketch any better. <laughs> sadly, but it does improve the chance. Of it working. Um, what was I doing? I was doing... Uh, I was doing... What was The airship's down there. This is where you can jump back to the airship. Return to the airship? No. You can. Um, but then you you won't start back here, by the way. You'll have to go through the whole dungeon again. Yeah, it, it's, it's just... I don't know, I'm always torn about it. About having... You know, I've thought about it for a long time, having chat in... on the screen. But, oh... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, there, there's... good and downsides with it. Should be. Let me go back because there should be a save point. Like a save point here, I can use.
Maybe that's this one. Yes. It's April because there's a boss coming up. Boss I might die at, honestly. Uh, this guy's really nasty. When you when you rewatch it on Twitch for like the two weeks that it's up on Twitch, you see chat. Grumble stupid scrap iron scary road track car. <laughs> Wonder what Maze is playing. <laughs> the answer is you you know, for those of you that don't don't get the card. Bismarck. For right now, so let's take Kate Seth. Maze is clearly playing Pokemon the Tricking Card Game, but at this point, I wouldn't be shocked. Now I have to go press the switcher, which is right beside me. That's okay. Run away! And then they'll ask us again. No. Hi, Zarzla. Back. <laughs> Should have gained a level, learned to break. No, I don't want to return to the airship. This way. Okay, hold on. So less take Bismarck. on the Persona kick. That's I... Persona's not bad. It's just not one I... It's not a series I've ever really liked.
Which is weird. I'm the first one to admit it's weird that I don't like Persona. Yep, there it is. Oh, really gonna throw me in a battle before? Come on. Come on, game. Don't be lame. <laughs> this first turn's gonna suck. <laughs> oh, before I do this. wonder if this would be a better way to go. Hmm. Sure, I'm game to do something a little different. A little crazy. Okay. Boss time. This is the ultimate weapon. It's called anima weapon, but whatever. I'm both ancient and rival. They do not bleed. For I am but strength given form, feeble creatures of flesh. Your time is nigh. We will see about that. Our weapon has a ton of HP. Actually, I do 360. Okay, I'm down. Has a ton of HP. When Adam a weapon gets at half life. He starts casting some really nasty spells, um, like Flare, Ultima, things like that. However, if you don't let him get there, then it doesn't really matter, does it? Everybody actually knows that. Flare, who's dead? Oh no, it didn't kill. Okay, that's fine. I can cure that. That's curable. So yes, Rasp does magic damage. <laughs> it does... He's losing that much HP. Or MP, excuse me. I say he's losing 200 to 400 MP every time we cast Rasp. <laughs> Bug! Your characters are gone. There's Blaze, which hits everybody. No, nobody has has that. I'll cast Kira. But you see, he can cast Flare. Keep your HP up, basically. Let me lever him. Level 37. How much HP do you have left? See, he has uh, 24,000 HP. Who got hit? Who am I casting Cure? Shadow? But he only has 5,000 uh, MP. With Rasp, you can actually get rid of it. Bad. So here's something about Final Fantasy 6. If you run out of MP, not your characters, but if the enemy runs out of MP, they're dead! Hey, 10 magic AP. And an elixir. <laughs> then, it's just, you're dead! So instead of having Ultimate Weapon go into his really, really crazy moveset at half HP, where he starts throwing out big versions of stuff like Ultima, um, Quake, 
Like, big, big attack all spells. Uh, he may cast Meteor. And he starts casting really powerful things. It's... It's not cool. <laughs> and it can do a bunch of damage. You'll have to keep your HP up. But you can instead just not let him get there. If everybody knows Rasp, which they did here, you can just have him stay with his not as dangerous move set because he never drops below half HP. And you can just drain all the MP from him until he's dead. Well, not drain. You can hit him with Rasp because Rasp does a bunch of MP damage. That sounds like an unintended coding error. I don't know if it was or not, but it works in this game. And it's really funny because you can get away with battles like that that are intended to be really difficult with enough uh, magic power and rasp because you just hit MP. <laughs> it's awesome. It makes getting rid of an enemy's MP worth something for the first time in a Final Fantasy game in forever. Because normally you can't hit MP and even if you could you osmos it. And some enemies, you don't really get to drain MP through Osmos. Here you have a way to hit MP that's actually reliable and works. It's awesome. I have no right to fight at your side. Not after I sold myself to the Empire. And Shadow runs. Thanks, Shadow. Thanks for ditching us. Whatever, move on. Here to stop you. Let's go. Bring it. Well, well. Look who's here. <laughs> so you all came to die together. Well, you're just in time. Behold, the warring triad. That's not great. I see sparkly stuff heading toward Geshalt. Means he's getting power from it. That's not good. <laughs> what power? <laughs> I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Look who's here. Terra Celestin. Is that a Moogle? <laughs> yes, it is. And you should be scared. Okay. Um, at this point in the game, if you do not have Celeste in your party, um, Celeste will uh, show up right here. Uh, Celeste joins here, just so, just so you know. So make sure if you're not using her, that you have her equipped, because she's she's gonna show up right here. Emperor Gassault, please stop this madness! Because she has important lines. <laughs> Celeste, child, you alone are special. Why don't I give you and Kefka the task of creating progeny to populate my new Magitech Empire? Kill the others, and we'll forgive your treachery! Take this sword! Kill them all! Celeste, together we will rule the world. And yes, the collective E is from chat. Power only breeds war. It's something we'd all be better off without. 
including you, Kefka! <laughs> Blood! 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 You vicious brat! You actually stabbed Kefka. <sighs> you know, you really are a stupid, vicious, arrogant, whiny, pampered, backstabbing, worthless, little brat! Gods, you were born to fight! Now's the time! I implore you, show me your power! No. Let me in here! Mm -hmm. Now who's the spoiled little bro- Huh? Now listen to me! No more playing games. I command you. Show me your power! Kefka, stop. If you revive them, they'll destroy the very world we want to rule. There's no value in that. Shut up! Hmm. Kefka, are you mad? Mad? <laughs> Emperor Geshot! What are you saying? This is the perfect chance to show them the power of the Warring Triad! <sighs> Kefka, you poor hopeless thing. I'm afraid you leave me no choice. No hard feelings now. Time to get rid of Kefka! I'm just going to use this power you've unleashed to put you to sleep. What's so funny? There. <laughs> That's my line! <laughs> Very well. I suppose it's only fitting you go out laughing, you stupid jester. Faraga! <laughs> no, no, no. Flare! <laughs> mm. What's going on? Why isn't my magic working? Meltdown! How are you doing this? <clears throat> How, you ask? By standing at the center of the Warring Triad, of course. <laughs> they absorb all the magic sent their way. Or hadn't you noticed? <sighs> Triad! Your first victim has stepped forward! Show this useless old man your true power! No! Kefka! Stop playing around! I said, show him your power! Incredible! Ooh! <laughs> Can't you do any better than that? You're way off! Where are you aiming? Oh, <laughs> more to the right! <laughs> run! Run! Or you'll be well done! Oh, got hit that time. Bullseye! Kick, kick. 
Oh dear. Well, I guess I was a bit hasty in calling you a useless old man before. <laughs> now you're useless. The world is about to learn the meaning of fear. Right there, cast now! No, Celeste! Oh, missed the chance. No! Kefka! This is bad. We learned you should never bring them out of alignment. Kefka, you mustn't. If you disturb the balance, their power will run wild. Everything is bad. Hmm? Who's that? Forget about me. Run! There's no stopping this now. I'll find my way back. Trust me. You can't escape me! Shadow! Come on! We have to get out of here! You get six minutes to leave! And there are enemies who will try to stop you. Oh, you absorb ice. Get out. As you can see, the floating continent here is breaking apart. Frozen, that's a lame status effect. Frozen is like a uh, really powerful stop. It's hard to get rid of Frozen, but you can blast a character with fire to get rid of it. And you don't want to be stopped right now. Okay, you get a fancy one to fight. You think I'm gonna let you escape? You think you have a chance? What this? <laughs> uh, Cast Doom, which is lame on the whole party, just wasting your time. Oh, you have, uh. I forgot you have Nate Reflect. That's fine. Hold on. Uh, 
Let me fix that. I don't remember you casting Faraga either. There you go. By the way, the time runs when you're in this menu, too. The ship's below! We're gonna wait. Shadow said he'd join us, right? So we'll wait. Spoilers! If you jump now, Shadow's dead! <laughs> Cause he doesn't have a way off! But he just dies! Permanently! Including with whatever gear he has on him! Including whatever Esper you gave him! So, don't do that! Shadow will, uh, join us shortly. If you didn't, if you gotta trust Shadow, he said he'd join us. He'll be here. He joins with like six seconds to go, by the way. <laughs> so stand right here. Thirty seconds. We're all going to die. No. It's not unless I screw up and just stand here. Again, the the time still goes while you're in the menu, and you can see the time down there where it says floating continent. It's counting down instead of counting up the actual your play time like it normally would. It's telling you how much time is left. There, shadow. Five seconds. Shadow. I'd never be able to rest in peace if I died without collecting my pay. Up. Oh. And there you go. You leave with Shadow. There's no way to stop their magic! Now everything goes bad. Because they're out of balance, everything is just going nuts. Hang on. I mean, the airship has been split in half. forever.
So look, look what the stupid jester did. Yeah, Kefka literally destroyed the world as we as we know it. Welcome to the world of ruin. Uh, the first the first part of this game is known as the world of balance. Uh, this is known as the world of ruin. Welcome to, in many ways, the second half of Final Fantasy VI. Oh, Celeste. Hey, it's Sid. You're finally awake. How... How long have I been sleeping? One year as of today. I was starting to think you might be out for good. A whole year? You've been taking care of me this whole time? Yes, and I must say, I'm a bit knackered. Never heard that term. We're on a tiny deserted island. After I woke, after the world was torn apart, I awoke to find us here. After the world was torn apart? So, that wasn't just a dream. Stupid Jester did it. What about everyone else? Where's Locke? I don't know. For all I know, this island could be the only part of the world that's still above water. Ever since that day, the world's been sliding deeper and deeper into ruin. Plants wither, animals waste away, the other people who were here, the other people who were here with us all gave up hope. One after the next, they flung themselves from the northern cliffs in despair. Very sad. So, everyone could already be... Celeste, try not to take it so hard. We could still live out our lives together in peace. You're the closest thing to family I have left in this world. Yes. Suppose you're right, Sid. Should I say, Granddad? Is it alright if I call you that? Granddad, eh? <laughs> Make an old man blush. All of a sudden, I have a granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad. <laughs> you must be hungry. I... I actually haven't had anything to eat since I fell ill three days ago. What would you like? Well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. <laughs> That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. Okay, Celeste is unequipped. Uh, we need to equip Celeste real fast. Let's give her a uh, golden shield. Uh, we'll give her a flame tongue. No. Thunderblade. Her mystery veil back. White dress. 
uh, for right now, she's going to wear a uh, the sprint shoes so she can run faster. And also, she needs to have. I don't have a ribbon because I forgot to get. Uh, I guess I forgot to get the ribbon. Blast. Um. Everything is bad. Everything is bad. I could have swore I had one of those. Well, crud. Um, I'm gonna have to get out of here the hard way. Take a hero ring. For now. I'll figure it out. Figure it out later. And for this uh zone seeker. Okay. Run out. Run out here, get you onto the main map, which is really important. Okay, welcome to the world of ruin. <clears throat> no, everything is not awesome. I will try to show you why. Okay. Welcome to one of the things that people are the most split on when it comes to Final Fantasy VI, at least that I remember back in the day, was this right here. Which is why I'm outside saving. So we walk in, talk to Sid. I'm afraid I may not be long for this world. Uh, which is not good. Basically, Sid has an invisible life bar. Catch the fish. You have to feed Sid fish to help him. Here's the fish. Eat up. Om nom nom. Just can't seem to shake this thing. Just can't seem to shake this thing. So, he, his dialogue will change depending on how well you do. Um... Give me that. Uh, fish. Ordinary fish. There are four different types of fish. You don't want to feed slow-moving fish to sit. He'll get worse. Fish, come here. No, fancy one. Come here. Please come this way. No. Yes. Good. Take fish. Starting to feel a lot better. That's good. Things are going well. Every couple of seconds you're you're there on the map with Sid. Uh he's losing health. So you need to get him fish. But again, you want to feed him good fish, not bad fish. If we check our rare, the fish, a delicious fish, and ordinary fish. Those are the two kind of fish you want. Starting to feel a lot better. A lot of this is luck because you have to hope good fish pop up. Fish, eat up. Thank you for taking care of me like this day after day. How is anyone supposed to figure that out? Is there a hint? Well, he said he if there's no fish, he's not going to get anything. See, that's a super slow fish right there. That was right there. And she said, I'll get you some fish. So basically, you just keep feeding him fish. Thank you for taking care of me like this day after day. Time does uh, Sid's life does not go down or up when you're outside on the world map. So take that time to go outside and save. This fish, eat up! Day after day. Nope. 
Z, bad luck. Go down and up to reset the fish. No. Or maybe I have to go outside onto the, the world map to reset the fish. Ugh. They're supposed to reset. What are you doing, game? It's inside the cabin. See, I'm starting to feel a lot better. See, his, his dialogue changed. There we go. Oh, come on, come this way. Uh, this is all luck. But the thing with the good bad fish? Oh, you don't. <laughs> you learn the hard way. fish. Take care of me like this day after day. I can feel my strength returning. That's good. Here's a fish. Oh, come here. I want that one too. Come on. There's a fish. That wasn't enough, darn it. Ah, oh, blast it. Oh, come on. Don't cheat me now. Maybe I have to talk with Sid and be like, no fish today, sorry. But don't feed him bad fish. It's... I'm all better now. Thank you, Celeste. Ha! Ah, did it! Actually, Sage said. <laughs> because it's a lot of luck. What is it? Celeste, I finally finished the little project I've been working on at night. Go on downstairs. Take a look. There's a little secret passageway here, and... Granddad! Celeste, you have to leave this place. I'm sure your friends are still alive somewhere, waiting for you. I know they are. I'll go, but I'll be back, and I'll bring them all back to see you. You bring that lock fellow too now, you hear? wave and we're going to take this raft and you get to leave that's the good way that ends up some people really like the good way it ends up because Sid lives that's good. We want Sid to live. See, 
there's a lot of cracks in the land and everything is bad. Celeste made it to land! Good news! I didn't fight out there, so I think we'll be okay. Um, you need... I'm gonna kinda do this in easy way. Black belt, and I need you to have... Um, I know I have one, where is it? A jeweled ring for petrification. Trust me on this. Okay, I'm gonna save here, because that went well. Let me show you the other way, which is really sad. Which I saved here. Um, I want to save Sid because I don't get to do it that often. So I want Sid, the whole Sid being, uh, saving Sid to be the route we do go. <laughs> Wrong Shadow Binary. Shadow could have just used Chaos Control to leave the continent. Wrong Shadow. for this world. Maybe the time goes on the beach. That's what it is. I know time slowly ticks down for uh, Sid's health. Quote unquote Sid's health. I also just give him bad fish. See, a foul tasting fish. That will actually lower Sid's... I remember it just saying rotten fish or something, but this will actually lower Sid's age. No matter what happens to me, you mustn't lose hope. <laughs> and again, how are you supposed to know? Supposed to know this? I don't know. Like trial and error, the hard way. It made me really sad the first time I played the game because I just caught all the fish I could, I could catch, and then fed them to Sid. I'll be like, yeah, if I just get fish, whether they're you know, the slow ones won't give as much health, but I figured he was just losing health over time, was my guess. And that is correct. But, um... It... It, uh... The, the... Slow moving fish lower Sid's health. So I ended up just catching all the fish and then Sid died and it made me really sad. <coughs> Celeste, while well, I could still talk, I <coughs> want to thank you. So you can see Sid's over here, and that's the reason he's over there is because of the because of the raft. He's working to fix the raft. This is the end for me. Granddad, you have to eat, or... What's the matter? Granddad? Sid? No. No! You promised you'd stay here with me! Answer me! Tell me you're just joking!
The other people who were here with us all gave up hope. One after the next, they flung themselves from the northern cliffs in despair. Everyone's gone. Even Locke. There's nothing left for me in this world. Were you watching over me? Why would you want to help someone like me? I've already given up hope. Huh? This bandana! It couldn't be! Hey, little bird, where'd you come from? Is the person who wrapped your wound still alive? Please, tell me! He's alive! Locke's alive! You must leave this island. Somewhere out there, your friends are waiting for you. Go down the stairs by the stove. The road to your freedom awaits. Love, Granddad. You're proud of me, Granddad. And that's the other way you get off the island when Sid dies. Now, um, some people. I remember this being really talked about back in the day. I don't know if it's still really talked about these days because this is an older game, things like that. Um, but... Uh, both ways... Enjoyed is, is, is not the right word, but both people see the value of both, both ways. Some people like Sid living because it gives... Uh, Celeste's character um, that having Sid there and plus it's Sid you know it's it's a Sid character and Sid's in Final Fantasy and it's just having Celeste have have that character and it's it's sweet when he lives some people have the opposite view and are more partial toward Sid dying because it gives a lot to Celeste's character. People that really like Celeste. You see her it just adds so much depth because you, you see her at, at the bottom, at the very bottom. She tries to take her own life and lives just because of how hardy she is 
ends up living, sees Locke's bandana. You know, I'm gonna live for Locke. I'm gonna make you proud of me, Granddad. And continues her journey that way. It gives Celeste's already varied character. You know, she has a, a lot of, of layers to her character. Just that many more layers. So... I remember that being really talked about back back in the day. It was a really big thing on discussion boards and in chats that uh, people were kind of split on that scene, depending on um, how you felt about the characters. So people felt it really adds, it really does add a lot to Celeste's character. But Sid dies, which is really sad. Um, I think it's important to see both scenes. Which is why I did that. So you can have Sid be alive and you can see it that way. And she waves and she still has hope. I'm going to go find my friends. Sid's still alive and that's really happy. And you also get to see this side which is really sad. But add, adding depth to Celeste's already amazing character. Um, so I wanted to show both of them. But let's go with Sid living. <laughs> um, so I, I get I get both sides, I really do, but we're gonna have Sid live because now that I've shown you the sad thing, now that you know Celeste has that in her character, um, just that, that much more depth, we can have the happy the happy part of it, which is well, we're about here, we're gonna go with the happy part. Okay. Um some things you'll want to do. You will want to have a jeweled ring on. Wish I had a ribbon, but I don't, cause I fail. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, use a, if you don't have a ribbon, use a uh, jeweled ring. You will want the uh, petrification immunity. You want that. <laughs> that is um, something you want. How close is Celeste to the one? Okay. If Celeste does not have the Vanish spell, I highly recommend her to start learning the Vanish spell. Because then you'll have Phantom there. Um. Just as a personal note, because I talk about personal things when it comes to Final Fantasy, um, I always felt that way for Celeste's character because in my uh, teenage years, I felt that way. I'm 32 now, but in uh, my teenage years, I felt the way Celeste did there at that scene. Um, I think I talked about that during Final Fantasy IV, how I really... Uh, felt a lot like Cecil's character and so I, I felt some ties to Celeste's character there just because of that and uh, I still feel the most toward Cecil but I talk about that in Final Fantasy 4 but it always made me really feel for Celeste because I just had that emotional bond with her, with her character right there, and was like, yeah, I've been there, so, keep learning rings, so, anyway, Um, it's one of the many reasons that Celeste is my favorite character in uh, Final Fantasy VI. Just because she has a lot of of character and I still have that emotional tie with her character. We're going to move on. Be happy. Sid lived. Everything is great. Well, everything is not great. The world just went completely bad. But... Um, things will look up. <laughs> do you see that tower? Yeah, do you see the tower in the background? 
Kefka's practically a god now, sitting up in that tower with his power of his, with the power of the warring triad at his command. That's right, everybody! Stupid Jester didn't die! He's now practically a god. He has the power of the warring triad. So, let's take stock of what happened. Kefka did it! He pulled it off! He got all he got all the power. He did it. He's not a failure of a villain. He did it. Became a god. He pulled it off. <laughs> Crazy Jester won. Uh, sleeping bags are for sale here. Sleeping bags are actually not a bad choice because Celeste is alone. So, don't need to waste tents. Yeah, you're going to have to rewatch it, sweetheart, because a lot happened. That sparkle in your eye reminds me of the young martial artist who visited here not long ago had the same determined look. Young martial artist? Hmm. Uh, Flame Tongue, Ice Brand, Thunder Blade. It's here. I'm a scholar of ancient weaponry, ultimate weapon, blah, blah, blah. Killed them already. We have, we have the ultimate weapon and we killed the other one. Oppose Kefka's will and he'll fry your town with the lighted judgment. No point in even trying. World's left ruined. There's nothing left. Many ancient monsters that had long ago been sealed away were released when the world was ripped apart. Humbaba, whatever that is, Death Gaze, even the eight legendary dragons. Death Gaze. I assume that's Doom Gaze. We'll get to him. He has something I want. Shield, Green Beret, Golden Helm, uh, usual gear. I think the gold armor may be new in shop. Do you like golden armor? Sprint Shoes, Gigas Glove, Earring. You can buy a jeweled ring here. Buy a jeweled ring if you don't have one. Just. You want one. buy three more for later. Do you want one right now? Celeste needs a jeweled ring on. Just, I'm telling you, <laughs> she needs one on for what's coming up. Needs. Here's your chance to buy one if you don't already have one, which you probably do. Now, again, if you have Ribbon, well, Ribbon's everything, so you're fine. Um, I want two more Reflect Rings. I should probably stop spending money. Because we're going to need it. Hmm, you wouldn't be. Nah, never mind. It's just, a man came through looking for someone recently, and you matched the description perfectly. Man already left, though. Said he was heading north to Tenzin. Sounds like we should head there. A young martial artist came this way, was here, and apparently somebody was asking for Celeste. And they headed north to Tenzin. Sounds like we have our next destination. That ugly looking tower right there is Kefka's tower. He won, remember? Now he rules atop that tower like a god. The reason I have the black belt on, as you can see, Celeste is alone. Which is not great. This lets her get some extra swings in. This is a very dangerous point in the game. 
because Celeste is alone. And let's see, that's Kefka's Tower. No, they were probably looking for Maria the Diva. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, Maze. <laughs> Don't go in the desert. Desert is death. Unless you have a ribbon. Then it's not necessarily death, but it could still be death. Oh, that one's good. That's the fleet enemy. So that enemy will be important later. If I remember correctly. I think that's the enemy that has something really cool. Because it is very dangerous right now, because any move that can take out a party member, zombie, petrification, just Celeste dying, is the game. There's nobody to revive her, she's alone. Head up into Tenzin. Serpent Trench is no longer a valley on the ocean floor. It's above the surface now. Eerie place too. Apparently, some members of the Cult of Kefka have built themselves a tower there. Oh man, what's happening? Something bad's happening, but you can still shop. Green cherries, echo screams... Holy water... Okay. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> I knew it was here, close by, but I don't remember which town. Okay. This is the Super Bowl. It costs 10k. First of all, don't buy these. Second of all, how they work. <laughs> this this is the Super Bowl. So the way the Super Bowl works is it does a random amount of damage. Kind of. It does between 256 and... Two thousand forty-eight HP. I know that's a very specific number. How'd you come up with that symbol? Well, you keep you add two fifty-six over and over. Seven times. I, think I did that right. Should be two thousand forty-eight, and that's the damage that the Super Bowl can do. <laughs> so it does between two fifty-six to. 2048 and intervals of 256. So 256, 512, 6, uh, 768, um, 1024, 1280, 1536, 1792, 2048. The Super Bowl will hit between one and four times. <laughs> That's also random. Theoretically, you could do 8,192? I think I did the math on that right. 8,192 damage. If you got max hitting four times, it's the most random item <laughs> not really but it's it's super random and it costs 10k so why just it's it's not worth it it's a funny item but it's not worth using in any real sense Uh, the berets here, but we already got one. She's the only one that can use. I'll just stick with the great ball if that's okay with everyone. <laughs> and old equipment plus golden stuff is here. Uh, Kaiser knuckles are here. I already have two of those. Burning fist is here. And venom claws. Um, give me an extra venom claw and give me an extra burning fist. Give me those. Here, I thought you used Super Balls to catch Pokemon. Yeah, the Pokemon references are. <laughs> Alright, everybody's freaking out. As you can 
see. Oh, here's an amulet. I could have used that earlier. <laughs> I'll buy one now. Uh, Thief Bracer is here. If you didn't have a Thief Bracer before, you only need one. Hey, thanks, Fane. Thanks for the 50 bits. I appreciate it. Celeste needs a jeweled earring. Last chance. Buy one. Hey, Saban! Saban! Ah, oh, Celeste. Let me help you. Wait. If I move, the whole house will collapse. First, uh, save the kid inside. I don't think I can hold this up much longer. You gotta hurry! Note, Sabin is holding up this entire house by himself. Because he's that awesome. Okay, you get six minutes. There's a healing rod, make sure you grab that. Enemies will attack you when you're in here. Remember, time is the name of the game. Lethal Sting, which causes doom, which is lame, but can't have doom. This is why you have the black belt on. There's a holy rod. Grab that. There's a bunch of treasures in here you want to grab. Grab an ether. Yeah, that's going to cause doom, but you're going to end the battle way before the enemies. The enemies, uh... Right before, you're going to kill the enemies with the black belt way before you do anything. There's a monster in the box. These are night stalkers, is that what they say? fire to you. That'll get you out of that. Go down here. There's a hyper rest. Let's keep going. Okay. There is the night. Uh, here's where those crabs you got there this is the reason you have the the ring they can cause petrification which is super lame and it means to insta lose Six minutes, loot everything. Rock, there it is. Boom, petrified, insta death. Uh, there's a blood sword, which is not super great, honestly. Monster in a box. This should be the same fight, though. Yeah, now I'm just gonna deal with you with fire.
dead. Grab the kid. I'm scared. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're safe now. There's a magicite shard. Okay, now we just have to get out of here. We don't have to worry about the treasures because I'm pretty sure I grabbed them all. Now we just have to leave. Two minutes should be doable. Oh, didn't get a counter. Unlucky. through the menus as fast as you can. There's the you die. Again, if you don't have a jeweled ring on, you're dead. And we leave. Took you long enough. Sorry, I had to take all the loot. You see, the house collapses. Saban, you're alive! <laughs> of course I am. You think a little thing like the end of the world was going to do me in? Given up hope. I thought everyone else had died, but I was wrong. I'm sure we're not the only ones. We need to find everyone, and then. Smash Kefka and deliver peace unto the world. Alright, count me in. Okay. Saban joins the party! Hooray! Time to learn stuff! Take Phantom. Alright, we need to equip Saban. Uh, what do I want to do next? Um, Amulet. I need to buy another amulet. I need to buy more amulets. Uh, I think where I'm going, the Burning Fist does more. Uh, amulet and where are my... Genji gloves. Double the Burning Fist. Tiger Mask. Guy gear that looks good to me. The front row. East, you'll find the valley that was once the Serpent Trench. Keep going, East. You'll find Mobus. We can do that. Heard the village was burned to the ground by the light of judgment, though. So much for saving my child. That was scary. It was scary. Heard that a terrifying monster named Humbaba has taken up residence in the area around Mobus. There's this guy. We'll find part like it is. Guess it doesn't do me much good to hold on to this glowing stone. Look, how about 10 gil for this thing? Sure. Get. Not Sarah, but Sarah. Which Celeste will put on. Angel Feathers. Restore HP to all allies for 40 MP. It has raise at times 5. Cura at times 8, Cure at times 20, Regen at times 10, and Azuna at times 4. Here's your cure, here's your cure magic, right here. Oh, but Celeste is about to level. Hold on. Right scary name. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> uh, it's probably spooky. That name doesn't sound familiar to me, though. So, I don't know what that enemy's supposed to be.
Grab Sarah before you leave. Oh, did this place have amulets? I just buy it here. It does. Give me that. Now we change things around. Put on an amulet because the next place has zombie. Which can easily wipe out your party, because if both party members become zombies, then you lose. I always hated the first part of this. The first part of the second part of <laughs> Final Fantasy VI. Okay. Now, to the Serpent Trench. That we were told about. You're level 30. You should have a new one. Should have a new blitz. Two new blitzes. I forgot he wasn't high enough to know. Chakra. Chakra restores some HP to all other party members. Remember, monk. But Chakra in this game doesn't restore his HP. It's really good. But it restores the other three party members, not him. Or in this case, he would just heal Celeste. And you can see the input for it there. Uh, uh, up right, up left, down right, down left, down up. <laughs> now we start getting into the more, the more crazy ones. For you to use. Um, and then we have the one for level 30 is Razor Gale. Slashes all enemies with the cutting wind. It does a lot of damage and it hits all enemies. Up, upright. Basically, start up and circle all the way around till you hit left, including the upright, the you know diagonal directions. So I have to do for Razor Gale. Just start from up and go all the way around till you get left. I remember it being really strong. Doesn't help me here, but since we're surrounded. No. Oh, I didn't. I don't like when it doesn't catch the the diagonals. Razor Gale! It's not gonna hit all enemies because. We were surrounded, so it only hits one side. Which is that's lame. Especially good against flying enemies because they're weak to wind. It's less gangly. Uh, it's useful. It's a useful blitz to have around. Razor Gale! You see the enemy on the birds. Yeah, that was better. There we go. It'd be even stronger if I gave him an earring, for example. Okay, um. Said to the right. Uh, this is where, by the way, uh, FF6 gets very, um, very open worldy right here. You could have just ditched Sabin out there and walked this way and come back later. There's, You're kind of doing what you want now. The end goal is to knock Kefka off his tower.
because can't let the jester be in charge. That's unacceptable. I may have caught that in the right order. Nope. <laughs> oh, shouldn't use Thundara. That was dumb. Sunbath! Healed cell. There we go. Here we're to fire, though. Celeste leveled. Um, now she can go back to sleep. I think I want to go to this town over here. I kind of have an idea where I want to go right now, but I have to find it again. <laughs> because the world has changed. Surrender, but that's okay. Life drain. Oh, you missed. Goodbye. You don't have a lot of HP, but have a ton of defense. Let's check out up here. Before I was about to enter the menu and heal. <laughs> heal up. Uh, Saban. Do me a favor. <laughs> Put golem for me. Um, you'll want to play more cautious until you get some more party members. That's cool, Mace. Free weekends are neat. People should take advantage of them. Welcome to Mobilis. This is where I want to be. Oh, guard dogs. <laughs> ah, someone's coming! Panic, run! You're gonna have to fight your way in here. We can fight too, you know. Wait! Tara! Mama, are these people your friends? Nod. I'm so glad to see you're safe. I want to see you again. Tara, come with us. There's no saving this world unless we defeat Kefka once and for all. I know, but... I... I can't fight anymore. collapsed, Kefka turned his light of judgment on this village. The adults, these kids' parents, they all died trying to protect their children. Okay, 
It's aimed right at us. Protect the kids. This is a village of children now. They clung to me from the moment I arrived. They needed me. You can't take Terra from us! Dwayne, please forgive him. It's just, if we lose Terra, we lose the only thing that's holding this village together. I don't know why these kids need me. It's not like there's anything forcing me to protect them. It's the strangest feeling. But once that feeling took root inside of me, I lost the strength to keep on fighting. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding something important. It's hard to describe, but the harder I look for the answer, the more I lose my strength to fight. Tara's the glue that holds this village together. With her here, we're somehow able to keep going. So Tara's having to take care of all the all the kids here. Tara's our mama, and they're our big brother and sister because they're the oldest, uh, Dwayne and uh, Katerin. Humble bus coming. Oh, they changed the name. <laughs> this is Humbaba. <gasps> oh no! Humbaba, the ancient monster released from the depths of the earth by the cataclysm. I have to protect the village! Attack! Zero. Well, Terra's not equipped, so that's fine. We can still... We'll still wreck this thing. I mean, Terra does know Aura spells. That's not great. Cast the Dara back. It's fine. We can heal that. No problem. Here, take a Blizzara then. Oh, that's not good. That did zero. I know. Gotta use Vera then. Oh. Oh, there's the Naga. And you lose. You're supposed to lose that battle. <laughs> Don't use anything super cool. Because you're losing. Tara, wake up! Oh! Here it comes! Alright, so let's and save and fight it. Now here you can actually do stuff. So solar plexes. Oh no. Uh save and you have. Go on. There's that. Okay. Here you fight it for real. Well, real-ish, as you'll see. 
Grenick. Golem will block the solar plexes. And Celeste can absorb any thunder he decides to cast. Dundara, like that. And then it runs away. I'm sure DBZA Frieza would have a line for that, but I don't think it's just not coming to mind. <laughs> it is, but I won't say it. I guess I really don't have the strength to fight anymore. Mama, you okay? I'm staying here. I wouldn't be of any help to you now. And the children need me. But Tara... Maybe after a little more time has passed. You know, you advance the plot a little bit more. Then, maybe. Also, I need to understand what's happening to me. Thanks for scaring Humbaba away. This fell off the chain around his neck. Here, you have it. We get the Finrear Magicite. Uh, which is here. Howling Moon creates illusionary images of the party. It gives you the illusion. Yeah. <laughs> Woot, big wolf. He will teach you teleport so you can get out of a place. Banish. Banish enemy and stop at times three. These are all things you could learn before with other with other uh, other things. The big thing about Finrear is that 30% more MP. If you really want to give somebody a bunch of MP, you can do so. All in all, I'll give it to Saban right now so he has something to learn. Um, all in all, it's not the most needed. Or take my doom. Learn Fira. But, thought I'd go ahead and do that. Also, would have helped if I remembered you couldn't get Terra right now. <laughs> Got to, uh,. I'll do something else first. Torn. Went over here to get Terra. Oh well. That's fine, we still get Fenrir. Okay. Hmm. We'll go north. There it is. Chocobo stable here. I'm just gonna use that. Chocobo stable's my life. I'm not gonna stop burning out chocobos just because the world's falling to pieces. Ha ha! 100 go for a chocobo ride. Thanks. Let's go, chocobo. That's Kepka's tower. No, it doesn't. The tower back there was Kepka's tower. That's a different tower. I know what that is.
This is Nik Nikia? Nikaya? My next destination. Hey, aren't you... You were with the Returners, right? Me too! I thought everyone else had been wiped out! Oh, sweet! I don't know if there's anything I can do for you now, but I did hear something you might be interested to know. Apparently, four espers escaped from the Magitech facility not long before you guys snuck in there. Wait, what? There's no way of knowing if they're alive, but if you could find them, I bet they would lend you their power. What? I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Is that new? Did they put more espers in the game? That'd be cool. We try to keep a low profile here so we don't draw Kefka's ire. Because the Jester actually has something he can use now. Guardian's Crusade doesn't ring a bell off the top of my head. Rune Blade, which, as you know, takes MP away. So you. You, uh. You get critical hits. I don't like it. However, Enhancers are here. Enhancers are great. They boost the wielder's magic. I want two of these. Enhancers give five to magic, have more attack power than anything short of the Ultima weapon, but you have to be at full HP to use that anyway. And they give 20% magic evasion as well. These are amazing enhancers. They're so amazing. Celeste gets two. Giving her plus 14 magic, a ton of attack power, and 59% magic evasion. These are so amazing. I love the enhancers. They make Celeste awesome. She already was awesome. They make her more awesome. Alright, diamond equipment. Diamond shields. Which I don't need one right now. Diamond vest, which is super expensive. Um, I'll buy a diamond vest for Sabin, and then just just wait on the rest. Take this diamond vest. Got quite a bit more defense. Let's take that. We'll go with that. The road you took here used to be at the bottom of the ocean. Yup, and now we rode a chocobo through it. South Figaro Ferry has somehow managed to stay in business. That's great. Let's go into the pub. Boss wants to sneak into Figaro Castle to take back our booty. He got it all in a storeroom there. We lost our old boss that day. He's feeding the sandworms now. <laughs> we met Gerard here in town. He's our new boss. Who's this guy? Head of that gang of thieves, Gerard was flirting with me. Kinda handsome. Hee <laughs> hee. They say they all escaped from Figaro Castle's dungeons. We're gonna go into the castle through a secret cave that nobody else knows about. That's cool. Hi. This ship's been chartered by the Crimson Robbers. 
Oh, well, we're not taking the boat. Item shop. What do we got? High potions. Gold needles. Holy water. Sleeping bags. Tents. Remedies. Phoenix Downs. There's an elixir. Sweet. Chocobo stable. It's the, the blade's bad here, though. Like, the concept is super cool, but it's bad because you will. You will use MP. It doesn't have that much attack power now, it's an old blade. But. Even when you could first get a rune blade, we've had a rune blade forever. It's taking MP to deal a critical hit. When you could use that MP for something else, like casting a spell and doing more damage with the spell. So it's a neat concept, but it doesn't it doesn't play very well. Storm there by some freak chance the dungeon ended up right next to a sandworm nest when the castle stopped. Crack opened up in the wall, so we crawled through and followed the worm tunnels back to the surface. Alright, let's go. Oh, Alright, time to leave. What think you're doing? Get out of here, scram. I don't want to. Hi, you're new. What's your problem? Aren't you... Edgar? That kind of looks like Edgar. Let's follow this person that looks like Edgar. Edgar? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll take this too, kid. Look. I'm kind of busy here. I have to get ready. We're leaving for Figaro on the ferry soon. Don't play dumb with me! Edgar? You didn't lose your memory, did you? Oh, Edgar, that's so terrible! Listen, it grieves me to have to disappoint such a beautiful lady, but I've been Gerard since the day I was born. met anyone else who'd flirt with a lady who was trying to shake off his tail. <gasps> uh, being polite to ladies is common courtesy the whole world over. Edgar's brother is in our party. <laughs> it's saving. You know the way into Figaro Castle quite well then, correct? <laughs> Do we ever? 
Then lead the way. I'll take charge once we're in. Yeah, totally not Edgar. Hup. Sneak on board. Let's go to Figaro Castle. Still need to shop. Let's not leave. Nope. Boss of that gang of thieves is in the inn on the second floor. Oh, maybe we should go talk to him. The guy that looks like Edgar. But it's totally not Edgar. I don't think it's lava, it's just... Destroyed. <laughs> huh, best way to put it. Just wait. I'm on my way to help. You followed me here? You are Edgar, aren't you? Boss, everything's ready. Let's go. Case of mistaken identity, my dear. Give it up. Follow anyway. It's nice these. Yep. Because there were the soldiers here before. Yeah, I'm snake in my foot. Um, I want, before we do anything else. By the way, you will really want to have... Can't mope around, we have to start rebuilding. Good for you. Can I take that? Let me take this. Why can't I take this? You'll want uh, amulets because where we're going, zombie can happen. Um, enhancers. Golden spear is here. I'll come back for those. And heavy lance, you'll want the golden, which we already have. You want golden spears, they're stronger. But we can come back for those. Diamond armor is here. Yes. Was expensive. A diamond shield. I'd rather have the mystery veil than diamond helmet. Because even though the diamond helmet will give more defense, mystery veil gives so many... A good bonus to a bunch of different stats. I will take the diamond armor though. More defense and more uh, magic defense. Definitely equip that. Okay, good. Okay. I think they went downstairs. Be outside then. 
They're somewhere close. Hi, I'm Ricky Six. Welcome to the. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is on Steam. It's the. Uh, it's the FFX remake, and it is on Steam, and that's why I'm playing. I'm playing it on Steam. Easier? It's hard to say because. I don't know if it's if it's easier because of some things that have changed, but or it's just my my knowledge of the game because I'm rem I'm remembering some things from when I played it way back when. Now it's ten fifteen dollars on Steam. Um, Black Friday is coming up. So it'll probably go on sale there. I would guess probably 50% off. So you'd be able to get it for a good price then. For sure. Let's see. I can say for sure that I feel like I'm getting more, more, uh, more money than I, than I did in the old version, for sure. That's really what they gave. Yeah, they gave everybody, like, a quote, class unquote, which is cool. And I think they, they fit. Sabin's is Monk, uh, Celeste is Rune Knight. Uh, yeah, it does, it does look really good. It's got good... Good graphics. They did a, a good job on the graphics for this for me. I really like it. It's dangerous beyond here. I'll go ahead and clear out all the nasty vile monsters. You just wait here, okay? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Celeste never learned flood. Saving. So that's okay. Cast flood. <laughs> Whether you wait or not, it doesn't matter. They changed the names of a bunch of stuff, so that may throw you off. There it is. Look at Celeste now. With the double... And she learned Rays. With the double, uh... Double enhancers. So good! What else do you still need to learn? Regen! With the next fight. <laughs> yeah, we actually saw that enemy... Or that person, um... Earlier! Uh, the Zigri person. Are you using the keyboard for controller or mouse? I'm using a wired 360 controller. Um, if you're not using it, I actually don't know if you can use the mouse for this one. You might be able to. So hi, Ether. Um, if not, it would be keyboard. Yeah, I'm using a, uh, like I said, a wired 360 controller, so USB controller. Let's learn region. See, done. Now, that's usually what I play games with. Just my wired 360 controller. I really like it. That's what I use for a bunch of games. Um, if you don't have one, you can use a keyboard. It does look really nice. I haven't really talked about it since... I haven't really thought of it. But yeah, it does. It does look really, really nice. Um, it's, it's touch, it, uh, has, like, touches to, to make the graphics look really good, but it doesn't look completely different like the FF4 remake does. I actually don't like the FF4 remake graphics, 
compared to the old SNES graphics. These still have kind of like an SNES feel, but just like up -resed. Yeah, why not? There's some spells that she doesn't know. Uh, yeah, they have all Final Fantasies from 3 and up, and they use the, the remake versions. Um, unfortunately, 1 and 2 are not on there. But uh, 3 and up, you can find on there. In whatever kind of the newest iteration of them, whatever those would be. So like this one, I think this is the like the um, phone remake. Never they really did um, made it for the phone. Oh what? I didn't press it. Yeah. Oh, there's confusion. That's bad. That's the one thing that can make everything go bad. And if you are interested, I am uh, currently playing through Final Fantasies <laughs> on my on my channel. You see, we're up to six. And on uh, my YouTube channel, which is the same as it is here, Central Eighty Nine, um, I have the old I have the streams of the other ones. Um, if I've done them before is a let's play. I haven't done them again. Like I let's played FF4. I let's played the first one. Walk back out here and see. Um, and uh, I streamed 15 when it came out. Right when it came out, and um. We've done seven. So a few of them have been out of order. But now we've played through uh, one, two, three, four, five. Playing through six here. Seven and fifteen. That is what I've currently played through. So if you're interested, uh, check those out. I stream two to five central time. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and speaking of, <laughs> that's going to do it for this stream. So we're getting close to five, and I don't want to walk in there and do more of that dungeon because it's, well, a dungeon. <laughs> I don't have time to go through it. Um, Monday, we'll play more of Final Fantasy VI. We'll go through more of the World of Ruin. And we'll start finding party members. We already found Sabin. We'll start. We found Terra, but she's not joining right now. We'll see if we can find some more people. We just saw Gerard, who looks a lot like Edgar. Um, those of you that are interested, Assassin's Creed Origin. That stream continues. Excuse me. In an hour, at uh, 6 p.m. I'm going to stream it today. I'm going to put out a tweet. Here in a little bit for everybody. Just for those of you that aren't here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had a lot of fun um, enjoying Final Fantasy VI. We're in the second half now. Until the next stream. I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and Take care, everyone.